Well, to be completely honest with you, with the help of the gesture features on Apple Watch, it can be really, really useful. Let's take a look at this, for example. If I clench my hands for one time, I can go to my control panel without even you know, actually go on it physically. Or if I just do it for twice, I can go and check my background app refresh from my Apple Watch. And I can do many more things with the help of the gesture features. Therefore, in today's video, I'll give you guys a complete guidelines where you will learn everything about gesture just about your Apple Watch. So without further ado, let's get started well in order to learn about the gesture features on apple watch first all you gotta do is just go and open up your settings here and you want to find out the gesture settings so you want to scroll down here and you can see there is one gesture just go ahead and tap it on so make sure you are actually turning on that features so um simply tap double tap and if you scroll down here you can with the help of the double taps you can do a lot you can play and pause even you can skip, you can select the settings manually from here, especially for the music. This is what you have to do. Uh, for a smart a smart stack, you can choose advanced or select. And also you can select ignore, which we're not going to use it to be honest. So just ignore this fact. Now I'll just go back here. And there's a word board. It's called cover to mute. So let's say you want to immediately turn up the light of your Apple Watch. If you just do this, uh, you can see. Uh, it goes directly to the lock screen. So let me show you again. Now it's on the applications. If I do it like that, it get, you see my Apple Watch goes back to the lock screen. So what else can we do? We can do a lot more things. We can receive calls and cut it off and a lot more. So let's go to the settings again. Um, and this time around, we're not going to be in that particular settings. We're going to accessibility. Select accessibility here. And you know to scroll down again and you know to find out um, this option called assistive touch. Just go ahead and just open this up here and make sure to turn on these features. So let's scroll down and tap double tap. Let's turn it off and turn on the accessibility. And you know to scroll down here. So let's start with the hand gesture. Now make sure to enable the hand gesture features here. Just go ahead and tap it on. So you can see on hand gesture, there are many settings like tab, double tap, clunge, and double clunge, and many more. So um, let's let's you know, change some settings and see how it works. So you can see the tap and double tap. Uh, by default, it's going to be the backward. You can, you can actually change it. So if you scroll down here, you can see there are so many more options to choose, whichever you might like. Uh, for double tap, it's the same. You can choose whichever settings you might want to set. Now, one of my personal favorite, which is called the clench and double clench. So let me just tap it on. So let's add something else. So let's say I want to add to, yeah, control, control center, for example. So what happens here, if I do this, you can see, uh, okay, for one time, you can see it, it goes to the control panel. If I do it for double times, you'll go and open up my background app, app refresh. So let me do it again. Yeah, so you can check all the background app refresh, like background applications from your Apple Watch. So you actually have to like in a change of settings. So let me go back to the settings again and you can change it. So uh, you can see my clunch and double clunch is actually changed to dock and control center. So I actually change it. So you can also change it too in water the way that you want to customize it for your Apple Watch. And um, and yeah, so let's go back here. And so let's learn about, um, you know, uh, how to receive and reject a call. So after enabling everything in right, you can also, you know, cancel or even receive a phone call by, by the help of gesture. So you can see here, if I receive a phone call and if I just do like double tap, I can receive the phone call. And also if I want to cancel the call, I can actually do the double tap to cancel the call. So this is exactly what you guys can do in order to learn everything about the gesture features on our Apple Watch. If you still have anything to ask, please let me know in the comment section to get further help. See you all around.